Okay, today we'll be opening up this Harley Davidson oil filter number 63805-80A and this high flow oil filter number HF170B and this Wix oil filter number 51215. And I got this Harley oil filter on eBay for $14.99. And I got this high flow oil filter also on eBay for $11.81. And I got this Wix oil filter at O'Reilly Auto Parts for $12.99. But you may be able to find these filters cheaper somewhere else. All three of these filters cross over and fit a variety of Harley Davidson motorcycles. And these three filters are going to duke it out. Could get ugly, folks. And when the dust clears, we'll see who the winner is. So let's get started. This is the network. You got a Louisville Silicon. Be nice and tight. Get your end of here. Filtration. Okay, let's start with the boxes on these guys. We'll start with Charlie Davidson. Right here is the filter number. And over here it says Made in USA. Installation instructions. And it gives a little diagram here of what the filter looks like. And actually it does look like this. It's got metal leaf spring there it's got holes in the core and it's got a spring down here it's got a basin bypass valve okay and the high flow oil filter really doesn't have too much information except for right here it says some filters that it crosses over to which is this one here this is ours we're using and it's down here it says Made in Thailand. And the Wix box. It's Man and Hummel. See product for country of origin. So we'll put these to the side. We'll put them behind here. And let's get the weight of these filters. So the Harley filter weighs 300.4 grams. The high flow oil filter weighs 290, 290 grams even. And the Wix filter weighs 249.2 grams. The high flow comes with this plastic covering. And let's take a look at the gaskets. Well, the high flow on the left is thicker. A little bit thicker. They're all pretty much the same. I'll put the measurements on the screen. They all look like they do a good job. This high flow is really oiled, though. See how shiny it is. And the base plates. Take a look at them up close. The Harley has eight inlet holes. The high flow has eight inlet holes. And the Wix has six inlet holes. Also got the threads here. The threads are pretty equal. Equal amount of threads. You got a little rubber gasket here, O-ring gasket, which comes off, but I'll just leave it on there. And actually, the Harley one had one too. It's got a little gasket like this. It goes right on here. Now the whole Harley filter has this base end bypass valve it's built into the end cap so it doesn't come out you can see the spring in there also it's got some excess glue on here though now let's take a look at this Harley filter this Harley filter has 54 pleats glued seam right here inside seam and a little excess glue right here here I don't know what the filter media is made out of or the micron rating The high flow oil filter. It also has metal end caps. It's got bypass valve down here though. This one's a cleaner. It has a lot more pleats. It's got a metal crimp seam. This high flow has 84 pleats. A lot of pleats. So this is going to have a lot of filter media. And on this one also, I don't know what the micron rating is or what this filter media is made out of. And it's got a metal corn holes. And the Harley also has metal corn holes. And the Wix filter also has a bypass valve, but this one comes off the base end bypass valve.
and has the metal end caps. And the Wix has a metal crimp seam right here, and it has 67 pleats. And the Wix is a um, cellulose media with a nominal micron rating of 21. And I got that off of their website. The Wix has a coil spring. The high flow has a coil spring. And the Harley has a stamp leaf spring. Okay, let's get some measurements on these guys. These filter cans are pretty thick. Right there, 0. 0.55 millimeters thick. The high flow is also about the same thickness. Yeah, and the high flow is about 0. 0.56 millimeters thick. The Wix is thinner. The Wix was about 0. 0.42 I was getting. The Wix 0. 0.4. Yeah, the Wix 0. 0.43 millimeters thick. Okay, and a width on these filter medias. This is the Harley. 1.78 inches wide. The high flow. 2.11 inches wide. And the wicks. 1.63 inches wide. Also, I want to point out the date codes. The Let's see if we can see this Harley one. There I can see it. Y03060000 FF2. Now the high flow, it had a it had one on the base plate on the side here. And right where you cut, see right there. And I'll put the numbers on the screen. It was um 202A241. And the wicks. It looks like a 9091521 8Q2. And Wix made in Mexico. Okay, let's take these three filters, cut them open, stretch them out, and see what they look like. Be right back. Okay, here they are cut open, and the high flow oil filter goes over my table. The Harley Davidson oil filter. It's 50 and a half inches long. The Wix filter is about 73 inches long. And the high flow oil filter is 86 inches long. Okay, so let's get the thickness on these guys. The Harley filter is 0.88 millimeters thick. The high flow filter media is 0.81 millimeters thick. And the Wix filter is 0.61 millimeters thick. Let's look at them up close. Okay. Got them here labeled. The filtering side, back side. And let's take a look at these guys under a microscope. So looking at under a microscope, I'd say the high flow oil filter would do a better job filtering because there's some light spots in this Harley filter. And there's also some light spots in the Wix filter where the light's coming through. And you have a lot more filter media with this high flow. You have almost double the amount as the Harley oil filter and about 60 square inches more than the Wix filter. And let's take a look at the rest of the filter. So here I would give them a tie. These gaskets are pretty much the same. There's not much difference between these guys. Same thing with the base plates. You got more holes here. 
but you got bigger holes here so and they got the same amount of threads so i'd give those guys a tie you got leaf, uh leaf spring coil spring i guess that's a matter of preference you got holes here these are smaller holes but they're nice and smooth also with the high flow you got holes so they're smooth and we got louvers with the wicks and let's take a look at those louvers you can see they're opened up yeah they're all opened up so those are good the cans the wicks is a little bit thinner than the the other two and i like these bypass valves on the wicks and on the harley i like these kind of bypass valves versus this one here that's got it on the bottom but that's just my take on those so if i was going to pick between these three filters i think i'd take this middle one the high flow filter media looks like it'd do a better job filtering what do you guys think and with that being said i think i'll wrap this video up and don't forget oil filter fridays i open up an oil filter every friday on this youtube channel so if you like this video please hit that like button thanks for watching and take care the harley filter media weighs 9.0 grams the high flow filter media weighs 22.6 grams. The Wix filter media weighs 11.3 grams.